We're going to be starting uh, the 44th annual charity walk at 7 a.m. properly. Want everybody to assemble in front of me, which would be on the Mackay side of a Magic Island. Hey, by the way, um, we're from 95.5 The Fish Take Me to Church. I'm Brother Boo, and this is the ever so lovely Lady Lynn. That's me. And we've got Jack the Kolohe Hotel Dog. Roof. Well, he's not really here, but he's here in spirit. So we just want to welcome everybody. Who's here to have a good time today? Give me some noise. Okay, can the other 47,000 people make some more noise? Do you know that you're making history today by in, be participating in this charity walk? This is the only walk across the United States where you can gain weight and still be happy at the end of the walk. And this year, we've got more stops and more places than ever before, Lenny. Yum, 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 yum. And to remind everybody, we're not going to be starting off in waves uh, this morning. We're going to have a mass start. So all of you racers and runners that are doing this for a time, um, good luck. And it's going to cover, okay, 5.25 miles. But take your time. We've got a lot of stops along the way for you to relax. So as you know, this is the 44th annual visitor charity walk. Today, uh, the charity walk is actually being held on Kauai, Oahu, and Maui at the same time. Let's give a, give a big hand for that. Woo! And then Hawaii Island will hold their charity walk next Saturday. So if you've had a lot of fun today and you want to participate again next week, catch a flight, go down to the Big Island, and go celebrate <laughs> with go, them. We go, we go, Bula. But you know, what's so exciting is this event right here, the Charity Walk, has raised more than $43 million. Give yourself a hand right there. $43, $43 million. million for local nonprofits, charity schools, and other organizations. These organizations serve some of the most vulnerable populations in our community. These, these funds that we raise, they help the Kupuna, the Keiki, the homeless, victims of crime, veterans, and etc. Others work specifically on critical issues like homelessness, food insecurity, and more. Well, one of the great secrets, and I don't know if you know this, is all the money we generate stays on the island that the money is generated on. It doesn't go to the mainland, doesn't go anywhere else. So for all the nonprofits, and it's not only in the hospitality industry, it's nonprofits across the board, and it's a great fundraising opportunity for 2024. If you have a 501c3, maybe your child plays in the high school band, maybe your church has a youth group, they can come and raise funds. And uh, Lady Lynn and myself are so privileged to help distribute the checks in about 60 days after we're through, after they count up all the donations. And it's incredible the amount of money that HLTA gives back to the community, to these groups that are in so much need. Hey, and this year's Charity Walk is back in May. Let's give a big hand for that. It's May Charity Walk Month. Hallelujah. You know what's so great about that? Look what, we've got a beautiful day. The sun is rising. It's going to be a oh, little it's windy. It's beautiful today. But Ula. we had a little ooh earlier to bless us. <laughs> but, you know, make sure that you listen to the uh, marshals. They're going to be the ones in the bright green shirts today. Also, HPD is going to be along the line. Just follow their instructions. We want everybody to start on time and we want everybody to finish. Remember to hydrate, 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 and to always, always be careful of the traffic. Hey, in 2022, we raised 2.2 million that was distributed to nearly 300 nonprofits around the state, Bula. Well, you know, what's incredible is we had a little break during the pandemic, but we're back in full force. Look, give yourselves a hand. Look at how many people have come out this morning to support the 44th Charity Walk. You can still make donations by visiting our website at charitywalkhawaii.org. All right. All right. We want to give a big mahalo once again, and um, this is going to go to, of course, Hawaiian Airlines. Uh, they did a wonderful job this morning here. Also want to say a big mahalo to Aloha Harvest. They provided the breakfast and Domino's Pizza. Now when you get through, if you still get room in your old pool, you can come back and have lunch right here with Domino's Pizza. How many of us like pizza any day of the week? <laughs> I tell you, Mike Rompel's got something going with Domino's Pizza. Oh, Pula, why don't you share about Domino's? Well, they've got 22 locations statewide. And uh -huh. here's your geometrical equation for the day. Yep. Take this back for all your cake and your grandkids later. Yep. We're going to start off with one circle. One circle. Plus one square. Plus one square. Plus eight triangles. Eight. 
triangles equals one fill in the blank please mm, a yummy delicious unalicious manja manja delici also Domino's Hawaii Pizza Pula. You know, and I will say on the radio, they're fast and furious. They deliver it fast so you don't get furious because <laughs> everybody likes to have their food. But if you are a pizza aficionado or if you have kids yep. or if you have anybody who likes to eat yep. food, get the, get the app for your phone. It's really great because you can actually design your own pizza. And they have more than just pizza. Domino's has sandwiches. Sandwiches. They've got pasta. Pasta. They've got breadsticks and sauce. Breadsticks and sauce. Oh, and they got those things called salads for the healthy people. Salads. And they also have uh, the stuffed bread. Oh, the feta cheese and spinach are favorite. And if you're still hungry, they've got desserts. Desserts. And when you're all full with that, you've got? Beverages. Beverages, they got everything. But if you're gonna order pizza, make sure you order the pizza first, because you don't want to be like somebody I heard that ordered all the other food, and when the pizza guy came, bula, there's no pizza in bula, the delivery. Bula, 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 bula. That was you. Aloha, kakayaka. Good morning, everyone. Aloha. Oh, man, we got to do better than that. We're going to start walking in 10 minutes. We're going to eat all this wonderful food. Let's do that one more time. On three. One, two, three. Aloha. We're going to do that one more time. You know why? You know why? Kauai, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai are all starting at the same time. Okay, they're having their chair to us. So I want you to say really loud so they can hear you. The other thing too is that you recognize we've been saying for many years now, this is one of the few events that you're actually going to gain weight. Okay, when you do a walk, when you do an exercise, because there are some 20 checkpoints that are out there. Man by our properties, our businesses, and hardworking volunteers to make sure that you have a wonderful experience as you go through all them. So let's do that one more time. I want to hear that aloha so they can hear you throughout the state of Hawaii and our checkpoint volunteers are out there as well as all the folks that are volunteering today. One, two, three. Aloha! Better, better, better. In 1974, this started as the super walk. And at that time, they were only helping one organization. In 1978, they decided, our leaders at HLT at that time decided they wanted to help more than one organization. So it became known as the Visitor Industry Charity Walk. And we have helped as many as 350 nonprofit groups through the years. So that's what this is all about. And I'm gonna share with you something that we usually save to the end, but I feel feeling so good this morning so good this morning that because of the hard work of all these folks behind me as well as those throughout the state of Hawaii we have raised almost even before we started to walk nearly two million dollars that's amazing that's why we say this is a tradition of giving maybe the premier tradition of giving throughout the state of Hawaii, and we have you to thank for that. We have you to thank for that because you make this a success. It's one thing to say we're gonna have a charity walk, but if we don't have walkers, if we don't have volunteers, if we don't have folks who are gonna sponsor us along the way, and if we don't have people like from the city and county of Honolulu, from Mayor Blanjardi to the city council to make it possible, we wouldn't be able to have this park. So let me call up the chair of the Parks Committee of the City and County of Honolulu, my dear friend representing the City and County of Honolulu Bay, give a nice hand to Augie T, council member. Good morning, everybody. Aloha. Come on. Well, we want to welcome you to one of 300 city-run parks here in Ala Moana, and it is beautiful. The fact that the you guys already raised two million dollars. Think about that. Two million dollars of walking and eating. Who does that? And in the last 40 something years, over 43 million dollars, that hard work, that money will go to amazing nonprofits that will do good in our community. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Making our community awesome. So thank you guys so much. Please take care of our parks this morning and have a great walk. Thank you, Augie. This walk is so great. A very special guest is here today. He's so busy, got so many things to do. But let me tell you, 
He is a dear friend of the hospitality industry and during the pandemic, during the pandemic, we look through to him to help us, guide us through that very terrible ordeal that we all had to go through. We came out of it. We're stronger than ever. Please put your hands together for our governor, the Honorable Josh Green. Yeah. Dr. Green. Aloha. Just a quick word. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mufi. Thank you, Hawaii Tours and Lodging. You guys are incredible. Thank you for pulling people together for charitable causes, to protect our parks, to protect our well-being. And I'm here to walk because I got a little bit to walk off. <laughs> but most importantly, it's Hawaii coming together and the charitable uh, revenues that you raise and that they give to help us with homeless crises, the parks, the beautiful parts of Hawaii, taking care of our keiki makes all the difference. So aloha and thank you for being so, so good to Mufi and the team. Aloha. At HLTA, obviously, I'll be the first to tell you, I can't do it alone. I need a hardworking group of folks who believe in the cause. So I want to acknowledge them at this time and I want to call one individual uh, to speak on behalf of them. I want to acknowledge, first of all, my Vice President, Jared Higashi, who along with my core staff has been providing daily guidance on this all the way through. Jared, raise your hand, Jared. Stand up, Jared. He's a giant of a man, let me tell you. That's right. But we also have three officers of HLTA with me here today. We have our chair elect, Josh Hargrove, who is now going to be the uh, chair in two years, but he is the chair of the charity walk. Nice hand for Josh Hargrove. We also have our second vice chair, Angela Nolan, representing Kapolei on the west side. So she heads of the property on that side of the island and our OAL chapter chair, and that's here today, Carly Clement. But nice hand for her. So, Josh, as our statewide char charity chair, you must be feeling good. We're almost at two million, buddy. Thanks, Mufi. Great to see such a great turnout this morning, and aloha, everyone. Um, I just want to say real quick, you know, how many times we hear people say, you know, oh, you know, we have these issues like homelessness or other things, and somebody should really do something about it. And I just want to say thank you. This, this is us, you know, not talking about it, but actually showing up to do something and make it community and so I just want to say thank you so much to that there's these amazing organizations many of them are here with with you today who are going to be walking alongside of us to do with some really beautiful human beings who who take care of the vulnerable parts of our communities and so to be able to come together it's a 7 a.m. on a Saturday and we've got about 3,000 people here so I just want to say mahalo 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 to all of you to to, to the charity walk committee um, I know Mufi said a shout out to his team, but also to Mufi for his leadership and putting this together over the years and all the funds raised. Let's give a round of uh, applause for Mufi. But thank you, everybody. Be um, you know, have a great walk out there. We got amazing booths, a number of uh, businesses that have have put together some great entertainment and food for you. So please enjoy, stay hydrated, stay safe, and we'll see you back here a little bit later today. Aloha. Thank you, Josh, for your leadership. One final speaker. We can't do this without sponsors. We can't do this without people who donate food. And we can't do this without you who walk on this beautiful charity walk. We appreciate everything that everyone has given us from a dollar to five dollars to fifty thousand dollars. I want to bring up a man who represents what it is to give in this community. He does it all the time with his resources, with his money, with his pizza. Please put your hands together for our number one contributor here on Oahu for Charity Walk, Mike Rompel. Mike, Domino's Pizza. Yeah, I don't know how I follow all those guys. You know, uh, when we wanted to uh, participate in, uh, in giving and, and participating in the community, we wanted to try to be as efficient as possible. And this is the most efficient event to uh, give to. Obviously, you support all these charities. Last year, I think we supported 87 charities at, with one walk, and so uh, that's why we participate in this event. We can get the most amount of good done in the shortest amount of time. So I just appreciate you all coming, and I appreciate being a part of this. So on behalf of Domino's Hawaii, mahalo. Thank you, Mike. Okay, folks, I'm going to turn it back. And again, put your hands together for the two individuals I always call upon to launch our charity walk, and then when we're pow with all of this and we start playing Santa Claus and we give out those checks, please put a hand, your hands together to Brother Boo and Lady Lynn again for 
putting us through this walk today and starting off in the right way as they come back up to take the microphone here. Once again, walk safely. Mahalo plenty for being here and eat a lot of food. Aloha! Aloha. Once again, a big round of applause for Mufi and everybody else involved to getting this together today. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to get ready to start right now. Remember, um, be safe out there and walk slowly, eat plenty, be relaxed, smile. How many ready to get ready for the walk? Okay, what about the other 1,500 of us oh, standing in front? Let's split them up. Girls and guys. Okay, what do you want to say? Okay, girls, are you ready? Girls! On the count of three, what you, you say? say yes! One, two, three, yes! Are they gonna start? No. Oh, is that the girls? Okay, all you guys out there, say hammer! Hammer on three! One, two, three, hammer! So now we got.